Hello friend, in this video we will discuss the lubrication and its property. Okay, so in the previous video we have discussed the uh, what is meant by sliding contact bearing and the different type of sliding contact bearing. Okay, so in the sliding contact bearing, so lubrication is very important. As in the sliding contact bearing, there is an uh, surface contact and because of that there is an more friction okay so to reduce the friction we need the proper lubrication okay there are uh, means uh, different layers of the lubrications okay so generally uh, in the sliding contact bearing okay so like a thick lubrication okay thick flame lubrication then thin flame lubrication and the boundary flame lubrication okay so in the thick flame lubrication okay so you can see so there is an uh, uh, the uh, gap is more okay between the journal surface and the bearing surface okay means shaft surface journal means shaft okay and the bearing surface so between the uh, two uh, mating surface uh, between the two mating surface we, there is a gap okay so this gap is around 8 to 20 micrometer okay so the these two uh, means shaft surface and the bearing surface are separated by the thick flame of lubricant okay so here the lubricant will pass okay so the lubricant will be there here and it is separated by the lubrication okay with a thick film lubrication okay so in the last video we have discussed the hydrodynamic lubrication okay so the hydrodynamic lubrication is comes under the thick film lubrications so here we have we have the thick flame of lubric means lubricant we are uh, we are maintaining okay so we are maintaining the thick flame of lubrication and separate it by uh, to to separate the uh, metal to metal contact for the shaft and the bearing okay so here the wear is very minimum okay so wear is uh, wearing of the material is uh, means uh, minimum because of the uh, thick flame of lubricants okay so there will be the no metal to metal contact okay so in the thick thin flame of lubrication so in the thin flame of lubrication you can see at uh, for a few means uh, at some points there is a metal to metal contact okay so at a uh, uh, few points you can see the metal to metal contact okay so uh, in the previous we, uh, means uh, previous video we understood the working principle of the Sli uh, means sliding contact bearing so how the sliding contact bearing you can see the previous video to understand this one because the at few points how the metal to metal contact is arises okay so in the thin flame of lubrication uh, lubrication so these two metals like a uh, journal surface and the bearing surface are separated by the thin flame of lubrication okay so the uh, at few points there is a metal to metal contact okay so generally uh, uh, the thin flame lubrication we also call it uh, means also called as the mixed flame of lubrication okay so here the wearing of the surface is uh, means uh, like a minimum okay so uh, wear is there but it is mild okay so here the coefficient of friction is generally ranges from uh, 0 0.004 to uh, 0 0.10 okay so next one is the boundary flame lubrications so in the boundary flame lubrication okay so here you can see the uh, contact is a continuous okay surface contact is a continuous and ex extensive okay so the contact of surface is more here okay so the wearing is also more here okay so here uh, the lubrication uh, lubricant is continuously smear over the surface and provide the continuous renew uh, renewed absorbed surface thin uh, flame which reduces the friction of air so we need to pass the continuous flow of lubrication to reduce the friction here so these are the three types means these are the three layers of lubrications we are using in the sliding contact bearing okay 
and based on that so we have discussed in the last video that based on the lubrication the sliding contact types of sliding contact bearing is uh, uh, means divided okay so now we will discuss the uh, types of lubrications in the sliding contact bearing so why we are using the lubrication so the purpose of using the uh, for uh, for using the lubrication is to uh, reduce the friction between the uh, shaft surface and the bearing surface and to carry away the heat generated by the friction so heat heat also uh, in this lubrication uh, it will disappear the heat also okay and also it will protect the uh, lubrication also protect the bearing against the corrosion okay so uh, so that there are uh, means uh, uh, three types of lubrication we are uh, we will uh, we we are using for the sliding contact bearing like uh, liquid lubricant semi -lu uh, liquid lubricant and the solid lubricant okay so in the liquid lubricant so generally uh, uh, we are using mineral oil and the synthetic oils okay so the mineral oils are the uh, most common because of the cheapness and the stability okay and the liquid lubricants are uh, uh, prefer where uh, where they may be retained okay okay and the semi lubric uh, semi liquid lubricant where uh, we have the grease okay so we use the grease uh, as a semi liquid lubricant or uh, having the higher viscosity than the oil okay so the viscosity of the grease is higher than the liquid lubricant okay so the grease are employed where the slow speed and the heavy pressure is there okay on the bearing okay then we have the solid lubricant so in the solid lubricant uh, we are using the graphites okay so the graphite is the most common solid lubricants okay so uh, generally we will use the graphites alone or it is uh, will mix with the oil or the grease so like that also we can use okay so the solid lubricants are uh, uh, useful in reducing the friction where oil flame cannot maintain uh, because of the pressure and the temperature okay so uh, uh, as we discuss the layers of lubric lubricant okay so suppose uh, the layers of lubricants are not maintained okay okay oil flame is not maintained so uh, because of the pressure and the temperature then at that time uh, we can use the solid lubricant okay so to maintain uh, so in the sliding contact bearing so we need to maintain the la uh, layers actually so we need to maintain the lubricants layers but uh, uh, because of the pressure and the temperature so the, it will be very difficult okay it will be very difficult to maintain the layer okay so in that case uh, suppose we are not means uh, achieving okay that layers okay so at that time we can use the solid lubricant okay so now here we will discuss the like uh, properties of uh, good lubricants so the pro uh, the property of good lubricants are like uh, it should be uh, uh, low fric uh, it should raise to be low friction okay it will it should reduce the friction okay and it should adhere the surface and reduce the wear also okay it should protect from the corrosion okay so the uh, and it should have the good cleaning effect on the surface okay it should carry away the heat as as much heat from the surface as possible okay okay it should have the thermal and oxidative stability and it should have the good thermal durability okay it should have the anti forming ability okay and it should have the cap uh, compatible with the seal material okay and it should be cheap and available in plenty so these are the general properties that good lubricant uh, lubricant should have okay so generally uh, in for uh, for the lubrication viscosity is a very important properties of the lubricants okay so uh, so friend we have discussed today 
the layers of lubrication that we are using in the sliding contact bearing then we have discussed the lubrication different types of lubrications we are using like a liquid lubricant semi -lub uh, liquid lubricant and the solid lubricant so in the semi -lub uh, uh, liquid lubricant we are using the mineral oil and the synthetic uh, oils and in the semi liquid lubricants we are using the grease and the solid lubricants we are using the graphites and also graphites with the oil or the grease okay and then we have discussed the uh, for the good lubricant uh, what are the property should have okay so friend in this uh, so that's all for this video so in the next video we will discuss related with the materials and uh, for the related with the sliding contact bearings okay so thank you for watching this video if you like this video you can like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video